The Lord is not slow to fulfill His promise, as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Second Peter three nine. Devotional, God's heart for all people. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. John three sixteen. The verse above is the essence of the gospel. The gospel means good news, and it's God's plan to save us from eternal separation from Him. Our imperfections separated us from God's protection, and because of that, we could not have a personal relationship with Him, knowing that we could not give to Him on our own. God sent Jesus to us to make things right. Jesus did what no one else could do. He lived a perfect life. He died for us, and then he conquered death by coming back to life. It's his res- resurrection that led to our reconciliation with God, and that's good news. Here are three key things to remember about the gospel. God loves everyone. John three sixteen doesn't say that God loved some of the people in the world. It says He loves the world. The, that means everyone who inhabits it. God's heart is for all people. The gospel is for everyone. God wants everyone. The Lord is not slow about His promise, as some count slowness. But is patient toward you, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. Second Peter three nine. Jesus has promised to come back for his people, and God always keep his promises. We might grow impatient waiting for him to return, but. We can take comfort in knowing that His waiting is for our benefit. He wants to give everyone an opportunity to know Him personally. God sends everyone. The last thing Jesus told His followers before He returned to heaven was to go and make disciples everywhere. We aren't all called to other countries, but we are all called to share His good news with everyone we know. There are people who need the love and hope we live, we have in Jesus. So if Jesus is our Savior, then let's live like it. Let's offer all praise to God for who He is, and worship Him through the way we live our lives. Let's ask Him to help us see how much He loves everyone. As we patiently wait for God to return, let us purposefully live each day for His glory. That's why we are here. Prayer, God, I need you. You alone are my source of strength, joy, peace, patience, and love. You understand my character and nature, and you approach me with kindness. Today, I repent of focusing on momentary things instead of placing you first in my life. Draw me close to you, and as I wait. On you to return, please use me to love and encourage this broken world. In Jesus' name, Amen. Scripture: The Lord is not slow to fulfill His promise, as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach. Repentance.
Second Peter three nine. 主所应许的尚未成就，有人以为他是单言，其实不是单言，乃是宽容你们，不愿有一人沉沦，乃愿人人都悔改。彼得后书三九。Welcome. God is near. Ask Him to meet you where you are, and trust Him with your thoughts and feelings. Honor God before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world. For ever last, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Psalm ninety, verse two. God chose to create time and step into it, while still remaining outside of it. Think about that, and then give God whatever praise comes to mind. My concerns, but the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion. Which will not be taken away from her. Luke, ten, verse forty-one to forty-two. What's worrying you today? Be honest about how you're doing at the moment, and bring your concerns to God. My response: God, in every season, you're good, and you are in control, and I am so grateful that you choose to love me every day. Today, show me glimpses of your divine nature and everlasting love. Draw me closer to you and show me how I can love others just as you have loved me. In Jesus' name, Amen.